I see trees of green with roses too I see them bloom for me and you and I think to myself what a wonderful world I see skies of blue Hey, what's up everybody out there in learning land? Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another lesson and today we're breaking down What a Wonderful World um, as sung by Mr. Louis Armstrong because it is a wonderful world, all right? So we are doing bar chords. This is not gonna be a super easy beginner tune. If you want an easy beginner version with a capo, let me know. When I get 10 comments below requesting it, I will more than gladly do it, all right? So we're gonna break this one down with some tasty bar chords, jazz chords, all kinds of minor sevens, extensions, a bunch of fun stuff, nines, everything. Okay, all the chords on the screen, all the lyrics on the screen with a full play along at the end. If you want a printable PDF with this lesson and all our guitar lessons, you can get one at Patreon. Um, it starts at just a dollar creation, caps as low as a dollar a month if you want, and it will accelerate your learning. You can always give more, and you get more if you give more. But it starts at a dollar, and it's for this lesson, including all the previous lessons. Um, but again, I'm gonna have all the chords, lyrics, strum pattern, everything on the screen, so you don't need it, but it will help. Okay, all right. So why don't you go ahead and grab that guitar brand attention span, a little bit of respect for Mother Nature. Maybe pick up a piece of trash today, and let's go ahead and rock this one out. Come on. All right, so we're going to break it down section by section, um, and we'll introduce the chords by section. The first section, you're going to need an F major, and you're also going to need, well, F major we should know. Um, barring that first fret, and then you're going to put your ring finger, third fret, pinky finger, third fret, middle finger, second fret. So it's one, three, three, two, one, one. Okay? and our G minor 7. You could play it with more fingers if you wanted to, if you prefer to get all these fingers on there, but what I'm doing is I'm playing the third fret of the E string and the third fret of both the G or the D, G, and B strings, okay? So I just do a mini bar and get my finger up there, up to you. And then the intro is gonna be two beats each, like one, and two, three, and four. Now this song you could do, it's in six, eight, you could do finger picking for the entire song, like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. But we're gonna give it a, something a little easier to play with the bar chords and something, um, that's a little nicer to sing, I think. Feel free to play that 6-8 finger picking pattern. I'll put a link below in the description of the video if you want to, okay? All right, so what we're gonna need next is the note, the rhythm that we're gonna be playing in, all right? So let's go thumb, and then depending on the chord, I have my pointer finger on the D, middle on the G, and my ring on the B. What I'm doing is I'm plucking with my thumb, pulling with those fingers, and then muting in a position to be ready for the next chord, like one and two, three and four. Alright, that's the whole intro. F, G minor, F, G minor. So let's play the intro together. Okay, and then we move into part A. This is a part A and B song, which means that um, it's not really verse chorus, they're just kind of these really long, beautiful chord progressions. So we're going to need the F major again for this part. We're also going to see the G minor again. Move that shape up two frets, it becomes an E minor 7. We're gonna see that. I'm not E minor seven, what a goofball. Ha <laughs> ha, A minor seven. Um, a B flat. Now I'm gonna play B flat major seven. If you want, you could do the exact same shape as our F up here, but instead of on starting on the first fret, sixth fret, or you can do the major seven, which gives it a little jazzier vibe. Pointer finger on the sixth fret of the E string, skip the A string, then it's gonna go seven, seven, on both the D and the um, G with your middle finger on the sixth fret of the B string. It's a movable shape. All right. If you wanted to, you could even do F major seven instead of B flat minor seven. B flat major seven. Okay. We're also going to see a A seven chord. Essentially the same shape as our F shape on the 5th fret, but we're going to remove the pinky to make it an A7. 
drop that down, everything down a string, D minor 7, and we're also going to see a D flat. So we're going to 4th fret, and then bar again the D, G, and B for 666. And we're going to see a chord called a C9. I prefer the C9. I think they're actually probably doing a C7 in the song. Actually, hearing that, I know they are. But this C9 gives a little bit of funky stank. All right, so that's up to you, C7. Just like a C, but with your pinky on the third fret of the blah, 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 G string or the C9, um, and you can free theory to mix and match that how you feel. Middle finger on the third fret of the A string, second fret of the G string, or D string, and then you bar the third fret of both the G and the B with your ring finger, okay? All right, so it's gonna be the same rhythm and we're gonna count the same way. One and two from an F, the first part's F, A7, A minor seven, B flat or B flat major seven. I'm playing B flat major seven. And back to A set, A minor seven. So we get okay. So we put those four together, four chords together. We get one and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. I see. The next part we're going to playing through is going to be a G minor seven. So you just move that A seven shape down again. F up to our A seven and D minor seven. And that's going to go one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Okay, so you put that together and you get those two pieces from the very top. F, A minor seven, B flat major seven, A minor, G minor seven, F, A7, D minor 7, or D minor, I play D minor, but D minor 7 works. Then we're going to go to our um, D flat, this time for four whole beats, 1 and 2, 3 and 4, G minor 7, and then C7, or C9. Alright, so that would be 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 1 and 2, three and four. And that's the only part that has the lyrics and there's gonna be a little turnaround that's gonna be different in each part A. So let's play up to that um, the first time through with the lyrics for the first verse. I see trees of green, blue roses too. I watch them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, Okay, so here comes a turnaround. It's going to go way up here to an F major. Um, this is going to the same shape as our D flat. Okay, way up here. 7th, 8th fret, 999. Or 8, 10, 10, 10, excuse me. And then we're going to make an F augmented, which is a really cool chord. Um, and it's going to be 8, 7, 6, 6, starting on the... A string, B flat major 7, and then a C7 here, starting on the 8th fret, which is that same A7 shape we've already seen. So that turnaround will go. And when you get to here, that's when you would sing, uh, sing the lyric world. What a wonderful world, A minor, our augmented B major 7. And then you play through the whole second verse, and the second verse, let's just go ahead and play through with the lyrics up. Um, I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day and the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, oh, what a wonderful world, this part's different. Okay, so that turn around that right part. That last part's different. And this time we're going to introduce a B flat chord using the same shape we're using for the D flat and the same shape that we're using for our F. One, three, three, three. And it's going to go F, two, B flat, four, B flat, two, F, four. Like 
One and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. Okay? And then we get into the part B. At the very end, we're going to put all the lyrics up and play through the whole song together, right? So if you're feeling a little behind, don't worry about it too much um, as far as how these pieces connect because we're going to see that with all the chords at the very end. But so far, you got the first two verses. We just need um, verse three, which is part B. So let's go ahead and start. Let's break that down. All right, so it's going to start off um, four beats on a C7 or a C9, whatever you want. Again, I'm doing C7 to an F. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. Then that repeats. One and two, three and four. One and two, three and four. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky. Also on the faces of the people going by, I see D minor. All right, so we're getting up here this time to the D minor and the C, and it's the, but it's going to be going back and forth. But we're not doing four beats. We're doing two, like one and two. Da, 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 da. Okay, and this other chord is a C major based on our B flat shape. All right. Okay, so that's going to happen three times. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? But what they're really saying is, I love you. Okay, so here we have an F sharp, sharp diminished chord, um, which is going to be just for one beat, like bam, bam, bam. And what we're doing is putting that middle finger on the second fret, and then we are barring the first fret with our pointer finger of the D, G, and B strings. And with our ring finger, we're actually going to play the second fret of the G string. So it's two, mute, one, two, one. F sharp diminished. Really nice, dense, dissonant chord to our G minor seven, to our C nine. And if you count that, it would go one, two, three, four. So take that really slow and practice that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, and if we put the whole part B together, we get the colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, also on the faces the people Going by, I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? What they're really saying is, I love you, I hear baby. Okay, and then we get into the last verse, which is essentially the same. Um, so let's play through the verse, and then let's look at the end. The end's a little different. Same thing. I hear babies cry, I watch them grow. Learn so much more than I'll ever know. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right, so after when we go to the world, instead of going up to an F chord, you're going to play an E flat 9 or an E flat um, 7. Again, it's your choice. Same shapes. To a D9, half step down. Everything moves down just one fret with either shape that you choose and then back to G uh, minor 7 but this time for six whole beats one two three four five six and then it starts to slow down then we kind of lose the um, timing a little bit a little more free kind of what a wonderful world all right so it's flat 9, D9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, doo -doo -doo -doo. all right, so from that very end, what a wonderful world, yes I think to myself, what a wonderful world. 
and that's how you would end it after the third verse. If you want, instead of a B major seven, you can do a B six, which is a really nice, tasty chord. Um, and what I'm doing there is middle finger on the second fret or sixth fret of the A string. I'm getting my. I gotta look closer because I just kind of got it on habit. My pointer finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Pinky on the seventh fret of the G string, and my other ring, or my other ring finger, my ring finger on the sixth fret of the B string. It's a B6 if you want. Give it a little more tension, a little more sweetness, I mean, and then an F. And then I like to do a little slide down just to give a little sassafras, all right? Okay, so those are all the pieces. Why don't we go ahead and play through the whole song from the top with all the chords up so you can put it together and she how she is, all right? Let's go ahead. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. I bless day and the dark sacred night And I think to myself What a wonderful world Where well, the colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Also on the faces People walking by I see friends shaking hands Saying how you do What they're really saying is I love you I hear babies cry I watch them grow I learn so much more than I'll ever know And I think to myself What a wonderful world Yes, I think to myself what a wonderful world In the key of F major if you want to get fat and nasty Alright, everybody, so there it was, the whole tune Thanks for watching everybody Coolie coolie yo, so there it was Thank you for watching, remember think about becoming a Patreon It will help you guys um, just makes the lessons more complete, especially for someone that wants a little bit of something in front of them to feel like the teacher's in the house. Uh, Skype Lessons 101 if you're interested. Ten Thumbs t-shirts, including the Tasty Fries uh, band that I played with here in Medellin as well. Okay? All right, everybody. Until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease, rock and roll. Just keep on, keep on loving life and keep on remembering it's a wonderful guitar.